Okay then my friends, so the next thing I want to do is allow users to delete ninja records by adding a delete button on the show page for each ninja. And there's going to be three steps involved in this. First, we're going to set up a route for that delete request and hook it up to the destroy function in the ninja controller. Second, we're going to make the template for that delete button in the show view, which sends a delete request to that route when it's clicked. And third, we need to handle that delete request in the destroy function of the ninja controller to remove the record from the database. So let's start with the first step, which is to make a route for the delete request. And we can do that inside the web routes file below all the other routes. And in fact, what I'm going to do is just copy the route for the show page and I'm going to paste it in at the bottom because the path for the delete request is going to be the same forward slash ninjas forward slash ID where ID is a wildcard. And this time it represents the ID of the ninja that we want to delete. And again, this path for a delete request follows a restful convention. Only this time we need to change the get method over here to a delete method because we're responding to a delete request. We also need to change the controller function from show to destroy, which is the function we should run in response to a delete request. And finally, we need to update the name of the route to ninjas.destroy. All right, cool. So now we have the route set up and hooked up to the destroy function in the ninja controller. Next up, let's make the template for the button inside the show view. So then open up that view and head to the bottom of the page to make this. Now, Although we only need a button for this, we're actually going to be creating a full form for the template. And that's because within the form tag, we can do a few things. We can specify the method and the action so it points to the correct route. And we can also add the cross site request forgery directive to prevent those potential attacks. So let's add the form element now and we'll set the action attribute to be double curly braces then we'll use the route function. Now, as an argument, we pass in the name of the route, which is ninjas.destroy. And remember, we also need to pass the ID wildcard as the second argument. So we know which ninja record to delete. So we can pass that in right here as well. Okay then. So inside this form, the first thing I'll do is add the CSRF directive. Then after that, we need a button to click on to submit this form, and that's going to be the delete button itself. So let's add the button with a couple of classes as well. I'm just going to add the class of BTN and also MY-4. And for the text, we can say something like delete ninja. Now we also need to add the type attribute to this button and set it equal to submit. All right, so we have the form pointing to the correct route, but there's one more thing we need to do, and that is to add the request type, which remember should be delete, right? But there's a problem. HTML forms only support get and post requests out of the box and not delete requests. So as the method attribute to this, we should actually use post when we want to send a delete request. And then within the form itself, we can use a blade directive called at method, and we can pass in the actual method we want to assign to this request, which in our case is delete. Now what this does is kind of spoof the method by adding a hidden input to this form, which then contains a method attribute and it sets that equal to whatever we pass in here in this method directive, so delete in our case. So then when the post request comes into the server, Laravel can see the hidden field and it knows we wanted to send a delete request and therefore it assigns the request to the correct route that uses the delete method, all right? So then that is the template for the button sorted. Finally, we need to flesh out the destroy function in the Ninja controller to handle the request. Okay then, so back in the Ninja controller, we need to find that destroy function. And remember, when we have a wildcard in the route, like the ID in this case, then we automatically get access to that ID as an argument. So we need to pass that in first of all. Next then, we need to try and find the ninja record in the database and delete it. Now there's a few ways we can do this, but we'll be using the find or fail method first of all to try and find the ninja. And then once we have it, we'll use a delete method on the ninja instance to delete it. So I can create a variable by saying dollar sign ninja, and then I'm going to set that equal to the ninja model. And we're going to use the find or fail method on that. And then we can pass in the ID of the ninja record we want to find. Okay. Then I can take this ninja instance and I can use the delete method on it directly. And this sends a query to the table to then delete that record. 
Finally, I want to return a redirect from this function. So let's use the redirect function to do that. And then we can tack on the route method to specify which route we want to redirect to. In our case, that's going to be the ninjas.index route. All right, and then I think that is everything. So let's try this out in a browser. So then let's try deleting one of these ninjas down here. This one, for example, we can see the button down here, delete ninja. And yep, it's gone. Let's try another one. So remember this name, Gonzalo Shields, cool name. And then down here, delete the ninja. And yep, it's gone. Awesome. So this is all working, my friends.